วัสดีค่ะ I'm Anna from Taste of Thailand and today we are making red curry paste. So many people don't know that the red curry paste is the starting point for masaman curry, yellow curry, and panang curry. If you know how to make the red curry paste, it will be easy for you to make other curry. Okay, let's have a look at the ingredients. Two of the main ingredients that you can't substitute are the kaffir lam and the garangao. Garangao looks similar to ginger, but they are totally different. It's the flavor, the texture, the smell. So you can't substitute them with the ginger, but you can try, but it's not gonna come out the same. So what you're looking for, if you don't know what garangao look like, the color is gonna be like whiter, and they got a little bit of pink there. If you see all this look like this, that is Galangal. Kaffir lam. I got this from my garden in Thailand when I went back there last time. They are really hard to find in a Western country. If you can't get hold of them, uh, you can freeze them. They just taste the same. We only use the skin, but it will give a unique flavor. If you want your curry paste to taste authentic, you have to have it. I've seen a lot of people use lime or lemon instead, but that is totally wrong. The next best thing, if you can't find this, is to use fresh kaffir lam leaf. You can just get them in any supermarket. We use the dry chili for the red curry paste. The reason we use the dry chili is that because they're not uh, too powerful. To be traditional and authentic, I'm gonna use a paste and mortar, but you can use a blender if you want it quick. Uh, but the flavor won't be quite as good. First thing first, I'm gonna soak the dry chili with the hot water for half an hour to make it soft. Use the spoon, put the chili in the water, and then we leave it aside. So, we start cutting. First thing first, pe peppercorn. And I always put salt in my curry paste when I make it to help preserve it. Not too much. Just a little bit to start. And then when the peppercorn start to break down, uh, put the garangao in. Lemon glass in. The smell of the fresh gangao and lemon glass is amazing. I love it. Uh, garlic, shallot, kaffir lam. Oh, the smell of the kaffir lam is it just smell like uh, my mom's kitchen. Okay, this is what it should look like before you put the chili in. Right. I'm gonna put chili in a bit at the time because we got quite a lot in here. So just put a little bit at the time. I think it's um so I think it's a halfway now. But it's nowhere near yet. Just keep pounding. All right, um, it's starting to become a paste now. But we're not there yet. It's 
now it's really become a paste. So that is when the last ingredient going in. If you want it to be vegetarian, don't put it in. But it does give a really good flavor. Going in, and start pounding. You have to make sure um, the shrimp paste and the um, other ingredient mixing all together really well. Probably um, doing it for another five minutes. I think that should be okay. There you go. Thai red curry paste from scratch. It took me about half an hour to do it. But I've been doing this for like um, so many years and so many times. It might take longer for you to do it. Remember, you can use the blender or you can buy the curly paste if you want. But if you want to do it from start, this is how it's done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And remember to check out my other videos and visit my website, tasteofthailand.co.uk for more uh, Thai recipes. See you again.